Krakato has continued to have multiple eruptions over the past few days. As you can see, this is a very active uh, region. Indonesia is active. It's part of the Indo-Pacific uh, Ring of Fire. But this particular volcano is, has made a name for itself as one of the most dangerous volcanoes ever. As you can see, even at this stage, which is a small volcano remnant of the volcano of the 19th century is yet erupting with a lot of violence and if you listen to the next uh, clip i will show you the sound it makes people are frightened with it they sometimes they hear it as far as australia This is not a joking matter. You cannot, you know, you cannot just ignore this. It will not go away. It stays there and it getting bigger. We had a, a last eruption of this in 2018 that it was big eruption. And it practically flattened the island and then built up a cone on top of it. That was the creation of the Anak Krakatoa, the way that we know it now. In this year, from the space, it looks like a, a, you know, like a zero between two brackets, and you can see the tongue of the material and lava flowing out of it. It's continuously erupting, actually, practically. In that sense, you can see the, from the space and from the ground, the change it made between destruction of the original one and creation of a new cone. It creates tsunamis. And the tsunamis can affect the Java and the nearby, you know, areas in the Pacific Ocean, in the Indian Ocean, as far as Thailand and Australia. These waves don't uh, disappear. Pacific, Indo-Pacific Ring of Fire is the most active region on the planet Earth. It covers almost two thirds of the planet Earth, and it cannot be ignored. You, it will affect your. Dangerous eruption of the Krakatoa, or should you say Anak Krakatoa, the baby Krakatoa, has started. This Krakatoa volcano is the most fascinating volcano probably in the history of the volcanism. And people know it because it caused a lot of, you know, uh, controversy when it actually erupted in 19th century. It caused cooling effect deeply felt around the world. It caused the uh, red sunsets around the world. And uh, because of the many documentaries built about this, it, it became really part of the folklore of the volcanology. It has now erupted. It's in eruption. This is located in Indonesia, of course, as we know. And uh, in the Indonesian islands are part of the uh, subduction zone of the um, Indo-Australian plate under the Eurasian plate, creating these volcanoes. This one is dangerous because it's, mid it's in the middle of the, you know, a, a, a sea between the Java and the rest of the islands uh, of the archipelago of the Indonesia. And the water coming in contact with the lava and magma can create a steam and explosion. That is the reason it is so explosive and dangerous. It was destroyed several times in the past. This time it's created a, a little baby Krakatoa or in the middle of the what is remained of the blown up whole island in the past 19th century. A tiny one, baby or anak Krakatoa is created. This is regularly erupting now and this recent one is dangerous because it has continued. It has not uh, stopped since the two, three days ago. So it's not just one eruption, it's continuing. If we continue to build up, you know, the, through this process of eruptions and uh, create the island bigger and make it bigger until it fill up the gap probably between the what is remained of the past big eruption. As you can see, his face is changing, the island face is changing gradually by these eruptions. And adding to the land mass of this volcano, it can potentially join with the, what is remained of the old volcano. In the past, it had a crater like that. Now that one blown up. The, uh, the potential for danger from this uh, volcano is because of the tsunamis it can create also in the adjacent areas in the Southeast Asia. 
and uh, a lot of people live in there about half a million people half a billion people i should say half a billion people part of the ring of uh, fire in the pacific ring of fire which is the most dangerous or probably biggest structure on the planet earth that we know at the surface visible Krakatoa volcano has erupted today. This is the images that we have from the spacecrafts around the Earth. And we can see as the day progresses and the night comes, we, when we zoom on the Indonesia, we can see that the Krakatoa, Anak Krakatoa, or baby Krakatoa, has exploded. That was north of the image, the top part. Now we can see a still image of that, and uh, you can see the actual red glow of it. And this is the actual images, time-lapse images from... Uh, just today and it shows the eruption is happening to the right of the volcano this is a lake or kind of caldera of the big Krakatoa which is Anak Krakatoa, baby Krakatoa is there located and another time lapse you can see that is ongoing process this is where the subduction is happening uh, um, Indo-Australian uh, subcontinent uh, or plate is passing under the Asian continent which is now in the Indonesia the contact zone is there. Uh, this is the most probably famous volcano in the world, uh, Krakatoa. And uh, as the night progresses, we can see that uh, beautiful uh, spectacle we can uh, expect to see. This may lead to some red sunsets. Explosive eruption continues at the Krakatoa, or to be accurate, Anak Krakatoa, or baby Krakatoa. Uh, we have the satellite images which shows that the eruption is continuing. It is explosive phreatic eruption. During the night it looks like this. Continuous eruption of the ash due to the mixture of the water with the magma and lava. And in the daylight we can see such a thing or in the down dusk area, light. And during the daylight this is it from the neighboring island which was part of the, it is now part of the caldera of the bigger Krakatoa. But trees have grown in it, you can see there. Uh, we had a blowing up of the top of the Anak Krakatoa in the past few years, as you can see here, is washed out. We had a landslide. This landslide is dangerous, and I will explain why. Uh, the landslide was a kind of block slide, as you can see. The block slide created a wave as the block fell into the seawater. This created this wave, tsunami wave, created by that, not just by earthquake. This just falling of the block created this wave, and it led to a tsunami. Similar to what you will see now, it creates a wave. The wave continues in the ocean, as you can see here. And when it reaches the shore, there's a whole wall of water coming toward the land washing out anything on its way. That's unfortunate. This is in Indonesia, in the Java Sea. We had a strange eruption of the Krakatoa volcano. That is the Anak Krakatoa, which we call it, but it's officially practically the same volcano. In the middle of that volcano that exploded in the 19th century, we have this new mountain crater forming. And this eruption was included ash and steam at the same time you can see two different centers for it and they're like a doing a waltz they're doing like a dance a beast and a beauty if either pick your own choice which one and now i have a spirit of you can see that as it just reached the climax and something drops from the uh, one of them Please <laughs> take your pick. Usually it erupts in this style, which is a mixture of both of those kind of styles. After the eruption of the 2018, the reduction in the height was significant. Now it is building up gradually and forming a new summit in this uh, middle of this uh, strange world. Explosive eruption of Krakatoa volcano is a cause for worry because the Anna Krakatoa uh, is erupting continuously for the last two weeks as you can see here during the daylight this is what we see a kind of orange smoke and during the night you can see the light coming out of that uh, almost flattened area this uh, mountain was flattened it lost its uh, peak in the 2018 explosion and since then what we will see is uh, in the nights and the day 
is a relatively small um, volcano. The eruption in 2018 was this. This is the famous one that everybody sees, and uh, you you are also aware of this if you are interested in the volcanology. But the volcano since then has changed. This was not the biggest, of course. Krakatoa in the 19th century erupted, huge. Comparable something to what we had in the Honga Tonga, in the Pacific Ocean. It lost the whole island. You see three remnants, those green parts of it. Honga Tonga created the same amount of the explosion. Barometers recorded the air pressure. Bigger than that was the Tambura volcano. Tambura is a Persian, Middle Persian word, meaning the drum. This volcano created the biggest eruption we know in the recent history. But the Krakatoa in 2018 lost this summit, created a tsunami, and uh, it can't do it again. That's, that's what is risky about this volcano, that it has unpredictable behavior in the sense that it is in, in the water. The island that it was hosting it is now disappeared, and a new volcano, a volcanic dome is forming there. This is a continuous eruption from the ring of fire of the Indo-Pacific Oceans. And this is a cause for concern. When Krakatoa erupts, we have to listen. Krakatoa volcano is back in the headlines, and it is for good reasons. It is fast and furious erupting huge amount of the ash into the atmosphere. This is when the water from the ocean comes into contact with the magma, which is erupting, and creates a lot of water steam, which explodes, expands and explodes, create this huge ash cloud which is rising several thousands meters into the air and can disrupt the aviation in those areas. Fortunately, there is not much uh, aviation in that particular locality. Even the airplanes use it as a, as a beacon for guidance. What is interesting is that comparing the images that we have from the 2018 and after 2018, when the volcano erupted, before eruption, this was like this. After eruption, this is how it happened. We see now a growth of the volcano happening in the distance of around four years. And this is the reason the volcano is erupting fast and furious. This plug of the material, these heavy rocks are sitting on the top of the volcano, stopping the eruption. And when the pressure is built up, it explodes, creates these ash clouds. It's incredible.